There is a term in investing that refers to non-correlated assets. This means the investment is not tied to the stock market. Most people just plug money into mutual funds inside an IRA or 401k type account. This is great, but even if you have diversified type of stocks you own, your assets will rise and fall based on how well the stock market is doing. If you asked your wealth advisor what I'm about to tell you, they'll probably say they don't advise it because these investments are outside the assets they invest for you. So be aware of their interest and yours. I like a little bit more diversity. So I will talk about a few assets you're not aware of, and maybe some that you are aware of, but haven't yet invested in. First, if you own real estate or business, these will not necessarily be tied to the rise and fall of the stock market, and they can provide a hedge from your stock assets. This can, of course, add risk as well. If you look at your weighted equity in these assets of your business and your real estate, compared to your overall portfolio. But a lot of wealth can be created in both these areas. Another investment is known as whole life insurance that earns more of a modest investment return, more like five to 7% annually. While investing in stocks and bonds, the investment returns are not as volatile up and down as the stock market. The policy cash value and death benefit can also grow over time with the potential to be paid tax-free to the beneficiary if it's structured correctly. You should consult a trusted advisor, both agent and estate planner, which I can recommend if you want more information. There are also life settlements. These are investments in other people's life insurance policies. Sometimes people will own various types of life insurance policies and want to sell their policy for cash for a myriad of reasons. These could be scenarios where they know they may not have a long life expectancy and they want the money from the policy now to enjoy life, to take the vacation they've always dreamed of, provide a gift for a family member, or cover living needs like money for prescription drugs or nursing care. These provide an opportunity for both the insured to liquidate the value early and for investors to provide capital for a return on investment. A word of caution, these are not liquid investments that you can sell. You typically would not want to buy one policy, but usually buy a small portion of a group of policies in a fund for diversification. Once again, you should consult a trusted advisor that specializes in this space. I can recommend someone to you if you'd like more information. Whether you're working for someone else or if you're self-employed, you can invest in these types of non-correlated assets, giving you more flexibility and diversity in the assets you own. 